This iTransfuse podcast is based on fact sheets you can find at transfusion.com.au, the Australian Red Cross Blood Service website for health professionals. What do red cells do? Oxygen is vital to the body's basic metabolic processes. Red cells contain a molecule called haemoglobin, which is responsible for transporting oxygen around the body. What is a low level of red cells called? A low level of red cells is called anemia. What are the signs and symptoms of someone who is anemic? An anemic person can often feel tired, have a lack of energy, feel lightheaded or become breathless when they stand up. Why does this happen? This is because there is not enough oxygen available to provide energy for the body to function normally. What are the causes of anemia? There are two basic reasons why someone may be anemic. The first is someone is losing blood faster than they can make it, and the second is someone is not making enough red cells. Why would someone not be making enough of their own red cells? This can be because of problems with the bone marrow or through lack of essential vitamins or iron in the diet. Iron deficiency anemia is the most common blood disorder in the world. When does someone require a red cell transfusion? Not just anyone is suitable for a red cell transfusion. It is only appropriate for moderate to severe anemia. The decision also depends on a number of other factors. For example, whether the person is actively bleeding, how severe the symptoms are, and how low the haemoglobin is. What other things does a doctor have to consider in regards to transfusion? If a transfusion is considered appropriate, the doctor will also need to consider how many units of red cells are needed, how soon they need to be transfused, and how quickly they need to be administered. The fact sheets and podcasts are designed to provide basic information to people without training in health or science. They are not intended to be medical or professional advice. The disclaimer on transfusion.com.au applies to this podcast. For more information or to view the fact sheets, log on to transfusion.com.au. To become a blood donor, log on to donateblood.com.au.